the Graviton Lance, otherwise known as the Purplifier, and one of the two double burst pulse rifles in the game, recently got a buff and a slight nerf. The nerf was to Crucible getting rid of some of the aim assist and also nerfing the Cosmology perk. Cosmology creates a burst of void energy that hits nearby targets on kill, purplizing them. The Cosmology burst now does 40% less damage to PvP players, but is the same amount of damage in PvE. I normally start these videos off with the PvE part of the gun, but I decided that I'm going to start with the nerf to this gun, which only affects the gun in PvP. While there was a slight nerf to the gun, I feel that it is still performing very well. While people are going to see that there was a nerf and never use the gun again, even though it's still good, kind of like Vex Mythoclast, I really don't think that the Cosmology and Aim Assist nerf does enough to keep it from performing well in most Crucible game modes. If I have to say anything about it, I feel like it was performing better with its current form than it was before the nerf, but that could just be how the meta was right now other things shifting around, or just more people playing Crucible because of Solstice. What you will see is your free team wipe after getting one kill won't happen anymore, unless you hit all of them at least some. Overall in the Crucible, I cannot find any significant change to this gun's performance. In PvE, it is performing a lot better across the board. The damage was increased by 67% in PvE while the Cosmology perk was not touched. This is a significant buff to its damage. The Tommy's Matchbook, one of my favorite primary exotics, gets a damage bonus of 99% when ignited, and Graviton is just going to have two-thirds of this bonus at all times with no downsides. When I use Tommy's, I never want to take it off, even though I'm left one shot all the time, because I can just melt everything in my way, but this might just take its spot. The cosmology is also still great, as it is able to clear huge chunks of enemies. I honestly believe that this buff could put it as one of the best ad clear weapons and really earn its spot as an exotic primary. We have plenty of legendary DPS options to the point where we don't need to have an exotic heavy so we can have an exotic primary on, especially after they made the Galahorn a supporting weapon so only one person needs it and everyone else can just run rocket launchers. If we are in a 6 man activity, this would allow for 4 spots for people to use it if they wanted, if we assume that there's also a div in there. You should definitely give this gun a try, because it is performing very well in both Crucible and PvE.